Hi everybody, Doug Daniel, founder of the Pilots Online Academy. Our mission is making superior piloting simple. Welcome to Module 7 of Phase 1, Basic Maneuvers, Coordinated Turns. Here's what you'll learn. How to roll into a coordinated turn, how to maintain constant altitude and angle of bank, how and when to roll out of a coordinated turn, and how to make constant bank climbing and descending turns. As a quick review, the greater the aileron deflection, the faster the roll rate. The greater a wing's lift, the greater its drag. When an airplane rolls to the left, the right aileron goes down, increasing lift and drag on that wing. The opposite is true of the left wing. Rolling the wheel left causes the nose to yaw to the right and the ball in the turn coordinator to move to the left. Symptoms of adverse yaw. The pilot applies pressure on the left rudder pedal until the ball centers. As the bank increases, the pilot must continuously demand more lift from the wing to keep lifting vertically at the 1G needed to offset gravity entering or rolling into a coordinated turn and we're going to do a left turn here quickly scan the airspace you plan to turn into briefly look in the direction of your new heading simultaneously apply left rudder and aileron do yourself a favor and don't attempt to roll too rapidly glance at your turn coordinator and center the ball remember the adage step on the ball as the bank increases, pull back on the elevator harder to keep the pitch attitude nearly constant and the altitude constant. Once you have desired angle of bank, neutralize the rudder and aileron controls, but not the elevator. Maintain constant bank in a coordinated turn. Since the right wing traverses a larger circle, it travels faster and generates more lift. This may require a bit of right aileron input to avoid rolling too far to the left. The constant increase in angle of bank needed for the additional altitude maintaining lift generates P factor, requiring a bit of right rudder input or less left rudder. Use the artificial horizon also known as the attitude indicator, to monitor your angle of bank. Use the altimeter to monitor your pitch attitude. Ending a coordinated left turn. With a coordinated use of right aileron and rudder, keeping the ball centered, start rolling to wings level. Start the rollout several degrees before you reach your desired heading. How many degrees before and how fast you roll is a matter of practice. If you have picked a point on the horizon as your rollout target, you've made your job much easier. Remember that the less aileron you use, the less adverse yaw generated, leading to less rudder required. In other words, do it slowly and smoothly and it'll be much easier. This applies to rolling into a turn as well. Don't forget to slowly increase the back pressure on your elevator as the wings come to level. I advise against trimming during a turn because after the turn the airplane should be very close to being in trim. A climbing turn. Since, all, uh, since any increase in pitch attitude results in a loss of airspeed, you cannot increase your pitch attitude during a climbing turn. Roll into the turn just as you would a level turn, but since you want to maintain a constant airspeed, your nose will not be as high above the horizon as it was when you started your turn. A climb being a high P factor situation, there may be times, especially in a left turn, when you relax your right rudder pedal somewhat rather than increase your left rudder pedal. All other aspects of a climbing turn are pretty much the same as a level turn. Gliding or descending turn. Since any increase in pitch attitude results in a loss of airspeed, you cannot increase your pitch attitude during a gliding turn either. A gliding turn 
like a climbing turn, is a constant airspeed maneuver. Without P-factor to contend with, a gliding turn is remarkably similar to a level turn in every other aspect. So here's what you've learned. How to roll into a coordinated turn, how to maintain constant altitude and angle of bank, how and when to roll out of a coordinated turn, and how to make constant bank climbing and descending turns. Here's what's next. The purpose and value of slow flight. Safety considerations. Slow flight in various configurations and common mistakes. Thanks very much and we'll talk again soon.